Hello everyone, welcome back to SSB Crack Exams. I am Sakshi and in this session, we are going to discuss the very latest AFCAT 2 2020 paper and we are going to solve all the questions which were there in the very recent AFCAT 2 2020 from the journal awareness section. So if you have given this examination, you can check how many questions you have answered correctly and you can easily analyze your performance. So as you know, AFCAT is an online examination and it helps through online mode. So we have the memory based questions. We have tried to cover almost all the questions from the journal awareness section. Stay tuned till the end to know answers of each and every question right here. So let's start with the first question. So the first question is who is known as Napoleon of India? Who is known as Napoleon of India? So the correct answer for this is Samudra Gupta. Samudra Gupta is the one who is known as Indian Napoleon of India. He was from Gupta dynasty and he was a great player of Veena as well. Samudra Gupta ruled from 335 to 380 AD and he was known as the Napoleon of India. This question is from the history portion. Let's move ahead. Next question is Chris Everett name is associated with which sports? In this question they are asking Chris Everett was associated with which game? So the correct answer is tennis. She was a tennis player and uh, she is a retired American world number one tennis player. She won 18 grand slam singles championships and three double titles. Okay, so she was a tennis player. Next question is who is the first batsman to hit six sixes in an over in a T20 international? Very favorite question of yours. The correct answer is Yuvraj Singh. Yuvraj Singh on September 19, 2007, he scored six sixes in over in a T20 international during a match between England and India. He scored this and then he became the first batsman to hit the six sixes in an over in a T20 international. Next question is which Indian leader was popularly known as Punjab Keshari or Shere Punjab? So if you have seen our video in our previous session, we have covered the important personalities and their nicknames. We have covered this as well. So the correct answer is Lala Lajpat Rai. Lala Lajpat Rai ji, he was popularly known as Punjab Keshri and he was a prominent nationalist leader who played an important role in India's freedom struggle. As we all know, he was associated with many freedom struggle related activities and played major key role in the activities surrounding the setting up of PNB, which is very famous bank today. PNB, which is a major PSU bank even now, Punjab National Bank. And that is how he is known as Punjab Kesri. Next question is who is called as father of German unity? I know in your head, Ottoman Bismarck will be coming, but that was not even the option. So the correct answer is Helmut Kohl. He was the one who is known as the father of German unity or you can say reunification. He oversaw the end of Cold War and also the German reunification for which he is generally known as the Chancellor of Unity or father of German reunification. Next question, Vienna is the capital of which country? So we have also covered this in the country's capital and currency series. If you have seen those sessions, your answer would be correct. So Vienna is the capital of Austria. Vienna is the national capital of Austria and the largest city in one of the nine states of Austria. Next question is in which city was the United Nation organization was created? This is a very tricky question. They are not asking you the headquarter of UN. They are asking in which city United Nation organization was created. So the city was San Francisco. UN came into existence in 1945 with 50 countries and they met in San Francisco for a conference to draw a United Nation Charter. Next question was the term bully is connected to which sport? The term bully is connected with which sport? So the correct answer is bully is associated with hockey. It is uh, basically associated and related with field hockey and it refers to the set play that is used to restart the game similar to the drop ball in the soccer from where the infringement took place two opposing players stand facing each other and tap each other's stick and the ground three times all the other player must be at least 16 feet away until the ball goes into the place so the correct answer is hockey next question was who is the author of ina akbari 
who is the author of ayne akwari very very uh, repetitive question in the examinations so the correct answer is abul fazl abul fazl was the one who is the author of ayne akwari and also akbar nama ayne akwari it is a 16th century document written by akbar's court historian and he was abul fazl was the court historian of akbar and he wrote ayne akwari in the persian language and this particular book it deals with the administration of mughal emperor akbar next question was who is the writer of das capital again very easy and very direct question so the correct answer is karl marx das capital it is written by karl marx in 19th century karl marx was a german philosopher economist and this particular das capital it is a description of how the capitalist system works and how marx claims that it is going to destroy itself the next question was from the geography portion and the question was where is the hawaii located in the world this is a mapping question you can say the hawaii is located in the pacific ocean it is located here in the pacific ocean you can see here in the image hawaii it is a part of united states it is a chain of island located about 3200 kilometers from the continental united states and it is out in the middle of the pacific ocean next question was which of the following is the lightest guess which of the following is the lightest guess journal sciences question so the correct answer is hydrogen hydrogen was the option and hydrogen is the correct answer although hydrogen and helium both are the two lightest guesses the weight is so little that they are able to float in the atmosphere and hydrogen is the diatomic gas and helium is a monatomic gas both hydrogen and helium are the lighter uh, gases and both are the lighter than the air next question is the first oil well in india was dug at so this is again a very direct question uh, if you have seen our session in our courses we have discussed all the important sites and we have covered everything related to this so the correct answer is Big Boy. Big Boy is the oldest oil well in India. The first oil well in India was dug at Big Boy. It is in Assam. The crude oil was discovered here in the late 19th century. It is known as the oil city of Assam where the first oil well in Asia was drilled. The first refinery was started here as early as in 1901 and it has the oldest oil well in operation. Next question was from again geography and the question was equator doesn't pass through which continent so from which continent equator doesn't pass africa south america asia australia so it doesn't pass through australia you can see here in the map okay equator passes through asia this is a part of southeastern asia south america of course it passes through south america and africa it also passes through africa but not australia okay so the correct answer will be australia next question is in which layer of the atmosphere do aurora borealis appear so the correct answer is ionosphere the ionosphere is the one in ionosphere charged particles are affected by magnetic fields of the both earth and the sun and this is where the auroras happens next question is ctps thermal power plant is located in which city ctps if you know the full form of this you can easily answer this question so it is located in chandrapura so ctps stands for chandrapura thermal power station it is a thermal power plant located in chandrapura town which is in jharkhand state next question is separation of judiciary from the executive is enjoyed by this is a question from the polity section so separation of judiciary from the executive is enjoined by is enjoined by directive principles of state policy so article 50 of the constitution of india is a directive principle of state policy it gives a direction to the state to keep judiciary independent of the executive particularly in the judicial appointments so this is a article where you will see the separation of the judiciary from the executive next question first afro asian games held in hyderabad played in which year first afro asian games so they were played in 2003 the first afro asian games were the intercontinental multi sport competition held between athletes from asia and africa and the event was held only once in the year 2003 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द टर्म चक इज यूज इन विच गेम सो यू कैन सी द क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द स्पोर्ट्स देर आर मेनी क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द स्पोर्ट्स सेक्शन सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज द चक टर्म इज असोसिएटेड विद द पोलो गेम ओके पोलो गेम फर्स्ट सार्क गोल्ड चैंपियनशिप हेल्ड इन विच कंट्री सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज पाकिस्तान फर्स्ट एवर सार्क गोल्ड चैंपियनशिप वॉज हेल्ड इन पाकिस्तान इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री and you know uh, sark stands for south asian association for regional cooperation and this was the south asian football federation cup held in lahore pakistan now the next question is at which place will you find maximum sunlight in december leh pune kanyakumari kanyakumari is the nearest to the tropic of capricorn and the sun rays falls vertically here during the month of december so the correct answer will be kanyakumari next question is A wax A W A C S warning system was equipped with which aircraft? MiG twenty one, Sukhoi thirty, I L seventy six, or E J S. So the correct answer for this is I L seventy six. So airborne warning and control system is mounted on Russian Illusion seventy six heavy lift aircraft. So the correct answer will be C. Okay. Next question is which of the following forts were not built by Akbar? Gwalior Fort, Agra Fort, Lahore Fort, Allahabad Fort. So the correct answer is Gwalior Fort was not built by Akbar. Apart from this, Agra, Lahore, and Allahabad Fort. Akbar built the fort, these forts, and Gwalior Fort was built by Raja Man Singh Toma. And Raja Man Singh Toma he built this fort in eight in eighth century, and it consists of one defensive structure and two main places. Gujarat Mahal and Man Mandir, very famous. Okay. Next question is who was the author of Kitab ul Hind? Who was the author of Kitab ul Hind? So the correct answer is Al Biruni. He was the author of Kitab ul Hind, and it was written in Arabic language. Next question: Where Gondwana Hills were placed? Again, a question from geography. So Gondwana Hill, they are placed in Madhya Pradesh, but not only Madhya Pradesh. the area is not just limited to madhya pradesh rather they they are spread over the region of telangana andhra pradesh maharashtra gondwana hills they are named after gond dynasty which is uh, which which was ruled by during the era of moguls okay next question is pygmy manometer is used for so the correct answer is it is used for blood pressure and they are used for monitoring the vital signs uh, specifically blood pressure heart rate rhythm heart uh, sounds and breath sounds you must have seen these right so guys this is it about the journal awareness section of fcat 2 2020 we have discussed almost all the questions which are there and which were asked in your examination these questions were based on memory these were memory based questions so i hope you got the idea how many questions you answered correctly and how many you have answered wrong so there was nothing that we haven't covered in our session in our courses if you are interested in afcat courses you can always download the mobile app ssb crack exams there you will find the entire package relating to the afcat courses mock tests quizzes study materials everything that you need to clear your examination go to the google play store download the mobile app ssb crack exams and start preparing for the same i'll see you in the next session with more important updates and informations till then stay motivated Stay healthy all the very best Jai Hind Hello everyone welcome to SSP Crack Exams I am Anuradha and I am back in this session with the AFCA 2020 verbal ability that is English section Q&A So these questions that I am going to discuss in this session have been taken from the first day of the AFCA 2020 exam itself and these questions are purely based on the memories of the students who have commented these questions on our social media platforms uh, the number of questions that came from verbal ability or english section in AFCA 2020 exam were 25 in number and the questions that came from the verbal ability section came from the different topics like antonyms synonyms idioms and phrases comprehension fill in the blanks closed tests etc 
in this session i'm going to discuss some of the questions that the students have commented in our social media platforms that they have been able to remember so these questions will be completely memory based questions so not many questions will be discussed in this verbal ability section q and a of afca 2020 exam but if you can remember any other questions you can comment them in the comment box below and i will conduct a session based on those questions so i will first begin with a question that is the meaning or synonym of affluent now this question i have already discussed in my course lecture on synonyms and antonyms and the meaning of affluent is rich or wealthy so this is the meaning of affluent the next question which came on afca 2020 exam on its first day was the meaning or synonym of pilfer pilfer means to steal or to rob the next question is to find out the opposite that is the antonym of the word mitigate now the answer will be aggravate or increase or intensify because mitigate means to make something which is bad less severe less serious or less painful that means to reduce mitigate means to reduce or to lessen so the opposite of mitigate is obviously to increase or to aggravate or to intensify the next question is opposite or antonym of luscious now luscious itself means delicious or tasty and this word is used as an adjective to describe the taste of a food or a drink which is tasty or which is delicious so obviously the opposite or the antonym of luscious is something which is not tasty or not delicious in other words something which is unappetizing so unappetizing will be your answer the next question was the antonym or the opposite of vanquish vanquish means to conquer or to overcome or in other words to subdue something or someone by conquering that person or thing so the antonym or the opposite of vanquish means to succumb or to yield so someone who gives up to succumb or to yield is the opposite or antonym of vanquish right the next question that came on the first day of afca 2020 exam was to find out the antonym or the opposite of vicious vicious means cruel or brutal or ruthless the opposite of vicious therefore is gentle or kindly or benevolent so this will be your answer the next question which came was to find out the meaning of an idiom or phrase and the idiomatic phrase was to fly off the handle so this question again i already discussed in my course lecture and those of the students who have already taken our mock test afcat series afcat mock test series have already got this question i am sure uh, and the answer for this question is to lose one's temper suddenly and unexpectedly and let me tell you the idiom origin for this phrase this is basically an american phrase and it alludes to the uncontrolled way a loose axe head flies off from its handle so when an axe is there say for example if you consider this to be an axe so if the axe head means this part of the axe flies off if it if it gets loose from its handle so this is the handle basically and this is the axe head and if the axe head gets loose then it can easily fly off from the handle if you're using this axe to strike something right so the way it gets you know flyed away or it if it flies away from its handle if it's loose that is known as to fly off the handle so this is basically the origin for this idiomatic phrase and this phrase is applied to someone who loses his temper suddenly and unexpectedly
So I hope that you have got an idea of the answers. Those of you who have already taken the AFCAT 2020 exam on its first day itself and those who have attended the questions in the English or the verbal ability section of AFCAT 2020 exam must have atten attempted these questions and must have got the answers by now. So whatever questions that have not been discussed in this section, you can obviously comment about them in the comment box below that I have already told you and uh, you, I will help you to solve those questions. I'm here to help you out with the answer keys. I'll give you the answers obviously. So please don't forget to comment any more questions that you can remember uh, from the AFCAT to 2020 exam for those of you who have already taken the exam today. So I uh, wish all the best for those of you who are going to take the AFCAT to 2020 exam tomorrow and day after tomorrow. Please go through our uh, section, our mock test. Let me tell you, those who have already subscribed to our course have already taken the AFCAT mock test series that we have exclusively designed for the AFCAT aspirants. And those of you who have already gone through our full content lectures, our PDF study materials, our quizzes, practice exercises and much more are finding it common the questions that have come for the AFCAT to 2020 exam on its first day have found the questions quite common because they have already gone through those questions during their practice or during their study or during their taking the mock test so please don't feel left behind take our AFCAT mock test for that you can log on to our website sspcrackexams.com or you can simply download our mobile app from the Google Play Store. So all the best for those of the aspirants who are going to take the AFCAT 2020 exam tomorrow and day after tomorrow. You can consult our courses and you can also take the AFCAT mock test that will be very helpful for you because most of the questions that we have this devised or included in the AFCAT mock test series are coming common in the AFCAT to 2020 exam. So stay motivated, stay confident, all the best for your exam. Till then, Jai Hind.